Hey, this is Will Martin. Um, I just want to give an update on my car that I'm working on. Uh, so since I last gave an update, I've uh, done a few things, mostly with the suspension, but also with the chassis. Um, with the front uh, chassis box that holds the batteries in place, I did a few things. One, I added a little bit more room so that uh, now the battery terminals can clear and I can run the cabling. Uh, for the lower uh, 13 batteries and then I also uh, made it up all of the spacers uh, for all of the uh, I guess they're six millimeter rods that holds the whole battery frame together um, and I found a really cool thing you can do in SolidWorks you can actually run macros in SolidWorks so um, I figured out how to run a macro that would do uh, uh, concentric mates and then I was able to uh, set it up so that I could click one of the buttons on my mouse and it would just set, set up uh, concentric mate. So I was able to uh, put all of these uh, spacers in in about five minutes after I figured out how to do that. Um, the other thing I put in is I started uh, putting in the steering rack and I created this frame here. Uh, these two uh, pieces of aluminum. Uh, as you can see the steering rack goes through them need to figure out a way to actually uh, cut this open and then uh, bolt it in. Um, but then that got me thinking about how am I going to do the tilting of this, uh, which made me realize I, I finally need to put in the uh, linear actuators for the tilting frame. Um, so let me open up the front suspension only. There we go. And so what I did was I... Uh, I made the chassis uh, go back about, I don't know, 25 millimeters or so, and then uh, built this frame. This is sort of the, I don't know, fifth or sixth iteration. It took me a really long time to figure out how I could create a bar here that would uh, put these actuators in place. Um, so these are two, uh, this one and this one, these are two linear actuators from Servo City, Servo City, and they are... To combined about a thousand pounds of force, which is way more than enough, I think, that we need for uh, tilting this car. Um, you know, if you're going into a corner and you're tilting in and you're doing over a G of, uh, of cornering force, um, I, with a car this size and this weight, especially with how low the weight is in, in, in the car, I don't think you would need, you know, more than a few hundred pounds of tilting force. Certainly when you think about uh, when you're riding a superbike uh, and you lean in using your body weight, you're only using, you know, 200 pounds of, of leaning force. So a thousand pounds of leaning force or a thousand pounds of force from these linear actuators should be more than enough uh, to get this thing leaning. Um, and again, if you, if you haven't watched my earlier videos, what I was thinking of doing uh, for the leaning is, is putting in a three-axis accelerometer and then hooking it up to our Arduino and basically having the actuators just uh, always try to have the force go down straight down through the chassis. So if there starts to be a little bit of uh, left lean force, then it would the actuators would come into play and, and tilt it to the right. Uh, you know, so it, it, all the all the g-force would come straight down through the chassis. Is sort of the idea. It would just be a continuous feedback loop from an Arduino. Um, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, it would run at a, you know pretty high. Uh, rate that you wouldn't really, uh, it wouldn't be jerky or anything. It'd be a nice smooth uh, tilting. Um, other than that, I put in, you know, some spacers to set off these uh, linear actuators here. Um, I haven't correctly mated, uh, the, these are half inch uh, bolts that are on the end of these actuators. And as you can see with this tilting frame, you know, I, I created sort of uh, like a tuning fork almost uh, to put in the bolt across this here so that I could set up the the linear actuators. Um, I have a really fast computer. I, I built it myself uh, from scratch and it's got a really really good graphics card and, and a you know 64-bit quad-core CPU and it is having a very hard time uh, when I try to mate up these these actuators it's having a hard time solving for it um, and it's probably just because I have so many mates going on I have uh, each one of these a arms has three mates there's four a arms I have these two 
uh, dampers that both have two mates, um, and then I'm adding two more mates. So it's quite a bit to solve, um, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. And that's sort of where the car is right now. And if you want to follow the project, just subscribe on the YouTube page or go to willmartin.com and uh, subscribe there. Thanks.